At last, a little oh, life. To the Turk Wars Turk. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Oh, well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. There's gotta be something. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. It's a good thing you cannot see me now. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I'll leave then. Thank you. I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With... Anyone. That's something I can do for you. <sighs> and who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The call card of a vampire like you you seem the expert how would that be I have my secrets as you have yours then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. 
That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I can only wish you good hunting, and pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about, about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing, if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. <laughs> Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No.
I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. says bloodsuckers dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find you. Best stay back, sir. But why do they hide when so damn hard? Don't come over there! See any of these bastards back here again?
We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Over there! It's locked, all right. Over there! It's one of them! <laughs> Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. I'll not betray your trust. Is this first? You see, I'll need a drink. I'm so thirsty, William. As one, we shall overcome this. We've done it before. <laughs> is bedeviled. I must put it down. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. 
You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <sighs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire. I must find a place to analyze the blood. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. 
I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Julina, thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> 